All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Caribou Expedition Rover, which I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be pronounced Caribou, it could be Caribou, Carabao, I'm... I'm not 100% on that, but I'm going to go with Caribou because it sounds right to me. So yes, the Caribou Expedition Rover, which is being made by the ever so prolific Rover Dude, who has made so many wonderful mods in the past, many of which we have looked at on this series. So you know that this is going to be a quality piece of work right off the bat. And what this glorious mod is looking to add into the game is a, as the, uh, quote says here on the forum page I'm looking at a ruggedized vehicular platform for hauling, exploration, construction, and colonization. So it's basically a pack of parts to build really cool and useful rovers. And of course, being made by Rover Dude, it's all integrated in with the other Umbra Space Industries mods. So things like USI Life Support, uh, the various USI Standard Nodes, the Modular Colonization System, all of those other things that Rover Dude makes are all compatible with these parts so you can mix and match them, which is really quite fun. But of course, we're just going to be looking at the rover parts today, so let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and take a look at all the parts that we do have, and thankfully, Rover Dude takes advantage of the custom tabs here, and uh, the mod strangely adds two, though all the parts are in one, which is this colonization tab here. It also does add a freight tab, and I actually have a feeling that all of these parts are supposed to be in this freight tab, because it is, well, as I said, a vehicle for exploration, hauling, construction, all of that sort of stuff. So it seems like it should be in freight rather than colonization. Uh, so that just could be a minor bug at the moment, because one thing I must mention right off the bat here, uh, this mod is still a work in progress. It only just released a couple of days ago in the add-on development thread. And yeah, so there's gonna be a few features that are missing, few features that hopefully should be coming soon, but for the most part it's still a really awesome freaking mod, which is why I wanted to have a look at it. So the first part, that is of course once again still a work in progress, is uh, the main rover bit here, you know, the cabin for the rover. It's the Caribou Expedition rover itself. And this baby, if we pop it in here, is gorgeous looking. I just, I absolutely love the look of this thing. And as for its features, it of course, minimum of one crew required, maximum capacity of three. It has its own built-in lights, which you can see right here, which are quite cool. They are very nice spotlights. Uh, of course, has a built-in reaction wheel and a battery of 150 electrical charge. Very useful, very cool. The just the modeling on this thing is gorgeous, as is the texturing. And, well, there's a few cool features to take a look at. Now, like I said, this is an expedition rover system. So you may be wondering why we have these apparently deployable legs, which are awesome because, well, they are deployable legs. So that is, you know, so you can, for the part of the mod that's more for base construction, colonization, you can move your rover into the position you need, then pop down the legs for support for long-term stays. So you don't have to worry about your brakes on your wheels being on or anything like that. You just drop the legs, you're good to go. Now, one fun bit here is where the wheels go. You can notice we have a, a little wheel well basically built in right here between the landing leg and the supports. A perfect spot for you to put a wheel. Now, right now, you have to use the built-in vanilla wheels or, of course, any other wheel mods that you may be using out there that fit into this little slot, uh, but the hope is to bring some custom wheels into this mod in the future, so hopefully those will be coming soon. Another thing that's not in yet but hopefully should be coming soon is the internal view. This currently has no internal view. It is using the sort of placeholder internal view of the Mark 1-2 command pod, uh, but I cannot wait to see this IVA for this one once it is finally made. Now, Rover Dude wanted to hold off on putting out the IVA for right now so that he could get out the main parts and then put in the IVA later once all the kinks have been worked out of all these individual parts. Because again, work in progress, there, there are a few small bugs here and there. But overall, just gorgeous piece of work. We've got the hatchback 
music here. A very, very cool indeed. Beautiful shape and texturing to it all. I love the wheels on here. We also, of course, do have the lights, which all these windows light up. And these two lights up top do produce... A beautiful spotlight for you to drive around with. Very, very nice indeed. And of course, like I said, the 150 electrical charge. But let's take down those and retract those. Now, the next bit that we have in here that we're going to look at is the Caribou Wheeled Storage Bay. Now, this is a storage bay. It's defaulted to liquid fuel and oxidizer, but you can change it to other various things. Again, since this is worked in with... Uh, you know, compatible with other life support mods, farming mods, things like that. You can have things like water, chemicals, organics, substrates, liquid hydrogen, all these different things. So you can choose what you want these containers to hold, which is quite convenient. So, uh, yeah, and produce or hold rather quite a lot of things. And of course, they have the deployable landing legs as well. And the beautiful wheel wells, as it is suggested in the name. It is a wheeled storage base. We have that same little wheel well right here. That's very nice, very convenient for you to put in your well rover wheels into. Let's chuck that away and then look at the next sto sort of uh, storage bit. The cargo bay here. Now, this one isn't meant to have wheels on it because, well, it's a cargo bay. It doesn't hold any parts or any, like, liquid fuel or anything like that. But it does deploy and open up. So you can see all of this. And what's wonderful about these ramps here, they go to the ground. If we actually deploy these landing legs, you can see that they're in line with that cargo hatch. So you can pop a little mini rover in here and drive it right off the ramp. That's perfectly acceptable for you to do. And if we just grab a random part in here, you can see that we do have some internal attachment points on either wall and on the floor and ceiling. So you can build just a, a lovely little tiny one-person rover in here, drive it out of the cargo bay, and then back into it easily. And it's just beautiful. And you know me, I'm a sucker for animation, and so I just love the folding in of the, uh, I guess, ramp. <laughs> is the best word for it. And of course, the cargo bay coming down. Beautiful part, indeed. Glorious. Now the next part here is the caribou, actually we'll take a look at this one, the caribou flatbed wheel bay. It's another wheel bay, of course, right here, so you can attach your wheels. And it is a flatbed. It has a multitude of attachment points. You can see it there, we have nine separate attachment points on top, so you can put on, like say, Kerbal inventory system containers or various other random containers for various other mods or resources. Whatever you need, you can chuck onto here and it will be just fine for your journey. Uh, which is, again, one of the reasons why I think it should be in freight. You'd think something like a flatbed would be in freight. Now, as for parts you can put on these, we do have a couple of different storage tanks I'll look at first here before we look at this part. Uh, the first is this cargo tank here. It's They can either be attached radi radially or to an attachment point on some various piece. Though with all the nine attachment points on here, it is kind of difficult sometimes to get it on. But let's look at radially. Bam. And again, just like the storage bay, you can change the different resources here to whatever you need it to be, which is quite convenient. And it holds a fair amount of stuff. Overall, a nice little extra bit of cargo room. Now, we also have a similar cargo crate here, which again can be attached radially or put onto the flatbed here or the next part that we'll look at. And again, this can be switched to various different resources, uh, as you can see here. Now, this one's not meant for fuels. Uh, you can't actually change this one to liquid fuel or oxidize or anything like that. It seems to be more for industrial needs. We've got like metallic ore here, a uranite substrate, minerals, carbonite, things like that. Uh, rocket parts, etc. So this is more for industrial usage, but very cool. A nice little set of uh, crates there. Very wonderful. Let's chuck this away and then look at... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll look at this one finally now. The Caribou UKS Multi Hub. I love this part. Again, not really meant for wheels on this one. As you can see, we do have hatches on either side, and that's because... This baby is meant to be used with another part. Now, uh, before I look at that part, though, we'll look at the other pieces for this. It does hold quite a bit of electrical charge, 400, as you can see here. It also does have landing legs, but unlike the others, which go out to the side, these ones go straight up and down, and that's for good reason. That's because you attach on to these little bits here, the uh, hatches there, the deployable emergency shelter. 
I love this thing. Oh god, I've actually got to get it into place. There we go. Beautiful. It's... It's an emergency shelter. You deploy it. It's a little inflatable habitat. I freaking love this thing. <laughs> this is my favorite part in the entire mod. If you've seen any of the videos I've done on inflatable habitats, which we've actually done a couple of them recently, I love them. I love them so much. They're beautiful. And this is meant to have one on either side and for these to be, well, an emergency little habitat. And this, this is an internal view I cannot wait to see. This will hold a couple of Kerbals, a uh, crew capacity of two. I would love to see a beautiful little, you know, bouncy castle sort of interior on this thing. I think it would just be hilariously good fun. And it's just a really, really cool part. And as I said on this, uh, multi-hub here we can fit one on either side just perfectly fine again the crap load of electrical charge and then you also do have two storage racks in here which you can use to put some crates or the little radial tanks here or the cargo tanks rather so it's not just for the multi-hab units here but also for some lovely cargo storage it's just beautiful now the last part that we have I'll leave these others attached this is the caribou adapter plate and it is just sort of an end plate that you can add to the rover which has legs here or you know you can use it to separate different sections like if you have other uh, USI compatible mods on here you can separate the uh, two different sections out by using this and it does hold a little bit of some form of resource again it can be changed to whatever you need in here very convenient and of course has the landing legs very cool but yeah that is all of the different nine parts of this mod at the moment as I said there are some things such as some uh, custom wheels that hopefully will come in the future but right now as it stands these nine parts are beautiful especially this I just I absolutely adore this inflatable habitat especially you know it's got the wonderful emergency shelter thing you know it shows all of it on there a little caution do not exceed rated capacity of two Kerbals even has the little red cross up there it is just gorgeous such beautiful detailing on it and of course I'm a sucker for an inflatable module so let's actually edit exit out of here and head over to Duna where I've set up some demonstrations of some of the sorts of things you could do with this uh, so let's go oh yeah I haven't gone into the tracking station yet always with a new save <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have two things set out here. Now remember, this is for building or hauling, exploration, construction, and even colonization. So I've got this beautiful little rover here that I made with the system. And it's, you know, the rover bit. We also have the multi-hab in the back, though I didn't attach the uh, actual... Ha oh god, the habitat modules, there's the word to them. I rather just had a little fuel tank back here, some solar panels, and used this flat section as a sort of makeshift wheel well, which does work. It's not perfect, but you know, it builds a lovely little rover here that we can use. We can lift up the legs there, and then drive over, oh, brakes are on, yeah, that would help, to an actual little base that I built using these parts. So you don't necessarily have to use them as a rover. They are meant to be rovers, but that's not necessarily the only use. As you can see here, we've just got the lander legs extended out, no wheels anywhere. We've got a crap load of resources and supplies lined up on the flatbed and also on uh, the little racks of the multi-hab unit. All very, very cool indeed. Just a beautiful little mini colony and easy to land, easy to uh, sort of deal with basically mini base and it's just in my mind gorgeous so let's actually go over to that one and inflate these habitats real quick we'll uh inflate this one here and then turn on all the lights these of course do light up we can turn the lights on and off and they just have a orange glow to them that's all they have but still quite cool I, I absolutely love these things and yeah you can use it to build a miniature little base and because of the size and shape of these they're very very easy to get into space uh, every one of these parts is compatible with the 2.5 meter size of parts so you can easily launch these on any 2.5 meter sized rocket into space and of course use it with any other 2.5 meter compatible part mods from other mods that exist around there and it's just it's beautiful it's glorious 
easy to get into space, a very cool look and design to them, a very, very modular in how you can use them. Again, like I said, I love this cargo bay because you could add other little tiny rovers in there. We've got the beautiful flatbeds in the back, these beautiful racks, and once more, all compatible with other, not just 2.5 meter parts, but also other Umbra Space Industries mods made by Rover Dudes. You can attach colonization parts onto these, which is one of the sort of main focuses of this mod, because Rover Dude basically thought, how can I move my bases around more easily? And he came up with this, but decided to split it out into its own mod because, well, quite frankly, it's beautiful. <laughs> Just, oh, I can't get over these things. I absolutely love rovers in this game. They are one of my favorite things. And the ability to have these little semi-permanent emergency habitats, beautiful rover systems, it's just, it's just all great. I absolutely love this mod. And if you guys would like to try it out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And if you build any cool rovers or bases with this, I would love to see it. So tweet me a pic or... Google Plus, whatever in the world else you use out there. And yeah, I'd just love to see it, see what sort of creative things you guys could come up with for these. And yeah, that's going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed it. And of course, that you do come back for the next episode, wherein we'll be looking at hopefully yet another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.